Hey guys, morning. So this is the part two of the upgrades for the BMW S1000 Double R series. So in case you missed the first video, here is the link. Go ahead and check it out. So today it's going to be the first service. Then we gonna install a lot of accessories. It's gonna take time. So here we have Mr. Manu from BMW Motor at Delhi, and they have my other guy Dharmendra who is on his way. He has not reached yet. So both of them are going to work in the bike today. So we gonna finish it up. So let's go ahead and see what all do we have to do today. So the first service is all about oil change, oil filter change, then diagnosis, RPM limit removal. So basically, before your first service is done, your you are going on a run-in period and it's logged to like 7,000 RPM. And once the first service is done, the remover, I mean the RPM limit is going to get removed and you can get all the way to 16,000 RPM. Badass. So the first thing to be done is the oil change so basically like till 1000 km whatever the oil is we are going to drain that and we are going to top up with 4 new bottles of engine oil, it's all black. First thing to change is this air filter, the BMC road standard. So basically the BMC is selling like two. One is raised which you need for the track and this is the standard edition which is for the road. So we're gonna remove the stock air filter and install this right now. Second item is we are going to replace the levers. So I have the stock levers. We are going to remove the stock levers and put those EvoTech levers. So this levers installation is, is a bit complex. So it needs some time. Last time we tried it was not working. So we are going to try today. I hope it's going to be successful. is we are going to remove this cowl because anyways I don't need the rear seat we are going to remove this and install this cowl so I had asked for this price from BMW showroom it was like 21,000 or something and I got this for somewhere around 4,200 from Hong Kong pretty neat deal the next thing to do is the diagnostics part so we are going to connect the laptop of this BMW engineer to the bike and do the diagnosis check about the mapping because we are changing the exhaust to the full system exhaust as well so we have to check the mapping and do the diagnosis let me just show that to you right now the next thing to do is we're removing the stock exhaust and putting this of the full system racing titanium exhaust most complex thing to do Alright, so the exhaust is installed, it was pretty much complex, it took like, I guess, more than two hours. So basically one thing you need to keep in mind, there is one servo motor over here. And as per the Acrobovich manual, you need to remove both of those cables from the servo motor. And for the front ones, the O2 sensors, you need to connect them. And basically that's pretty much it. And we're gonna install the rest of the accessories and I'm gonna show it to you. And then I had to remove this stock hanger, exhaust hanger for the exhaust and the body. 
so it's again the acrapa beach carbon fiber hanger and then there is one rng planking plates it's on both of the sides okay so the exhaust is installed let's start and check how it works Good, sounds good. And then I have removed my stock belly pan because it was kind of broken. I had lost few of my screws, so I have got this Elemberger carbon, the complete belly pan. It's completely carbon fiber, and I guess this is the most expensive carbon fiber component in the whole bike, except I guess the wheels. So we need to install this. And there is one thing to note: there is one small thing. You need. Uh, you'll be getting this from Elemberger again. This is again, I guess, thirty-nine dollars. So this needs to be connected to this part on the other side. and then only it's going to get connected so let's let me install it and we can see how it needs to be done and then there is this rng carbon fiber yoke so this thing is going to get rid of this part of the bike so let's go ahead and install it and then the rng frame slider is going to install to both of the sides it's all done service is done exhaust is installed everything else is installed runs well just started it Fire date firing is good. Everything sounds perfect. Installed perfectly. It took more than I guess eight hours or something like this. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated. I will see you next time. Peace.